What's up riders, old man Ronan here and welcome back to the channel. We're on the Meteor 350 today in homage of the release or the reveal of the 2023 Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 and I tell you I've been waiting to do this video for such a long daggone time. Uh, you guys remember the video that I put out? Basically it was a, a concept uh, about the Super Meteor and let me put a card in here right now and show you where that's all about. But I'll tell you, I really am super, super excited about the 650 Meteor. And uh, there's a couple reasons why. And the beginning is, well, you know, I'm a cruiser guy to begin with. You know, I, uh, even though I've had all different kinds of motorcycles, and today I have all different kinds of motorcycles, the majority of the motorcycles I do have and I do ride are the cruiser style. And I think the uh, advent of this uh, 650 Super Meteor is just going to really, really, really open the door for more Royal Enfield sales in the United States and North America. And let me tell you why. I simply love cruising on my uh, Meteor 350. And if the 650 is anything like it, which the frame is really similar to the uh, Meteor 350, it's going to be some differences. And I'm going to go over some of the differences right now uh, of what I'm seeing. And we're going to do some voiceover work as well, too. But the frame is really similar. In fact, there's been a couple people say, well, they took basically a hybrid of the uh, the Interceptor and the Continental GT and the Meteor and made the frame for the Super Meteor. And that's very possible. I don't know that for a fact. I just, all I know is, all I know is what I know. And what I know is from what I've seen in photographs so far, because, you know, they won't, they won't hit the American market until probably about a, maybe six, eight months from now, I don't imagine, which I, it's a shame because I'd love to get my hands on one ride it right now I think it'd be fantastic but in all in all reality I don't think we're going to get them for quite a bit of time but what I can tell you is that motorcycle is going to be perfect for the guys particular out west that always complain that they want a bigger engine to do more cruising with well you're going to have it now man the bike is probably going to be capable just like the other ones of over 100 miles an hour uh, you know as far as top end so I don't want to hear any crap about Royal Enfield not having fast enough motorcycles in a cruiser style after that release comes because they're going to have the exact motorcycle that you want one that's going to be very fuel efficient one that's going to get you to and fro at the right speeds now would i get rid of my meteor 350 for that no would i had uh, put an addition to it maybe <laughs> in other words i wouldn't mind having one because i you know you guys remember when i did the uh, super meteor uh, uh or the i shouldn't say the sg650 uh uh concept bike i was just hot to trot for that motorcycle because i think it just looks so cool and and it's the truth i i really love the cruiser style i always have and i guess in reality i always will because number one it's part of my my lifestyle i've always ridden them uh, and, you know, there's a lot of editions. They have two models coming out. They have the Touring Edition, and then they have the Standard Edition, probably in a bunch of different colors. Again, I don't have all the list of that. What I do have, though, is some footage of what the Meteors are going to look like as far as going down the road that I borrowed from Royal Enfield. And we'll yeah, put that in as we talk here. Uh, I, I think, really, the motorcycle is going to be, um, like I said, I think it's going to be a game changer for Royal Enfield in North America, perfectly honest with you. I mean, every you know, the Interceptor and the Continental GT uh, have been hyper popular. The Classic has been hyper popular. The Meteor 350 has been hyper popular. But everybody on my, all the ones that have all the big Harleys and all the big motorcycles say, man, I just want a little bit more butt than a 350. Well, baby, you're going to get it. And I think you're going to really enjoy riding that style. And, and particularly guys that's never been on too many cruisers, I think, uh, you know, I think it's going to open a door for folks that's not really been on a cruiser motorcycle to get down there and actually ride comfortable for a long period of time. Now, if you guys remember some of the other videos I've, I've had where I talk about the Classic or the Himalayan, those motorcycles fit the, uh, the, their, their needs perfectly. Their, their realm where they're popular at, man, they are fantastic. However, for cruising, I prefer the stance that the, the Super Meteor has or and on the Meteor 350 has because it's a lot more relaxed and you can you can really munch miles on a bike like this because you you've got your feet out a little bit farther ahead of you it's more of a com, you know a comfortable stance your arms are almost fully extended and, and you're just riding easy I mean that's even in the video where uh, Lal and all the other guys were talking about uh, Royal Enfield and the cruiser style they were saying that you know it is 
going to open the door to more of an Americana style of motorcycle, which, you know, Royal Enfield's really never done before, uh, other than the Meteor 350. But this bike here is going to, the 650 is really going to fit that, uh, that need. What's some of the things I think is going to be really important on this bike, and something I hope they, they share amongst all the other 650 lines. I really think that they need to put that inverted front end on all of their 650s. In fact, I think it might be good addition to the Meteor 350. I think that might be a good addition because you're going to get a lot more and better handling. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, what handling is, let me put a blurb in here from one of my past videos. What I'm most excited about is on the front end. The first you're going to see in these uh, spy photos is that they're they're featuring an inverted front forks. And I'm telling you, if this comes on the uh, on the shotgun and also on the Super Meteor, uh, it's going to really change the way that the bike handles. You know, f inverted front forks uh, offer better compression, the rebound dampening, a lot smoother, and the front ends are are, are literally stronger. Most of the pressure when you hit your front brakes takes place on the right below the triple tree there and uh, most of the time it's just the tubes well if you've got the sliders up there as opposed to the tubes you got a lot more strength and you're going to have a lot more positive control on the uh, handling of the motorcycle as well so i'll tell you what that is a huge huge thing not only strength but handling of the front end really big plus for me and you can see what I was talking about there. You know, the, you've got stronger front end, you've got better compression, uh, you know, you get better handling. And again, I don't have all the information, but I do have a lot of the specs for the 650. And uh, let's put those up there right now. I got up this morning to watch the reveal and, and I mean I had a, probably a smile on my face the entire time because the, everything that they said is what I wanted to him wanted them to say. They uh, they hit every nail on the head as far as I was concerned. I was really excited about what they had to uh, offer and like I said that inverted front end the way that they've got the uh, the frame uh, basically similar to what the Meteor 350 is of course you've got that fantastic 650 engine which is hyper smooth but yet nice and powerful is it the strongest twin no by not by far but it's hyper reliable and again that's some of the things I really have always appreciated about Royal Enfield is the fact that they do make motorcycles that are hyper reliable they carry the great warranty that they have plus the roadside assistance but yet they're easy to work on there's not an overabundance of technology on it no no modes you know I don't like modes unless it's like a pie a la mode <laughs> nice i know right but that's really the only th modes i like i would much rather be controlling uh, uh using these guys right here to control what i want the motorcycle to do and uh, that to me is uh, far superior than having a to rely on a computer I, I think to me that's the best way to go is that old school yeah that's old school but uh, hey i am old man ronan I, like I said guys, I'm hyper hyper excited. This is not going to be a very long video But it's more or less I wanted to get one out there to show you guys how excited I am I mean, I've been, like I said, I've been getting a lot of uh, texts and, and comments today saying, man, I can't wait to see what you have to say about the uh, The super meteor and what I say right now without ever being on it. I'm tickled pink guys I'm super excited and I simply cannot wait to see the motorcycle in person Huh? beautiful day today.
a little on the chilly side. I think I'm riding right now. It's uh, 46 degrees, and I'll put the Celsius up in the corner right there for all you guys that are not from the U.S. of A. and uh, don't know what the temperature differences are. Uh, they're not any different. They're just different numbers. Well, if you really enjoyed this video today, guys, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments. And comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby. <laughs>